सो ही गाइज वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट हाउ कैन यू क्रिएट टेबल्स इन योर पी डी एफ यूजिंग एफ पी डी एफ टू विच इज़ अ पाइथ एंड बेस्ड मॉड्यूल यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग क्रिएटिंग पी डी एफ्स सो फर्स्टली लेट्स मूव इन आवर वी एस कोड एंड आई विल क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट यर सो एल रन कमांड्स एंड देन वर्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट वी एन वी I will select the interpreter. This will create a virtual environment for me, uh, which separates my, uh, which can separate my folders or modules, which will be created inside this, from my global system. So if I want to install, you can say F PDF. This will be installed in my virtual environment, not in my system. So okay, virtual environment is created. Now let's check for its activation. Okay, just a second. I will create a file firstly here, that is test dot py, and then you can see that uh, my virtual environment is already selected. Okay, now what we have to do is again check for virtual environment activation. So now you can see a pop up. That means your virtual environment is successfully created. Now what you have to do is uh, pip install install fpdf2. This is the required module which we will be using here. So now we can start writing our code from fpdf fpdf import fpdf this is the class inside this now what you have to do is we have to again create a class we will name it as pdf class inside this we will be using fpdf see this is the easiest way to create a pdf using fpdf pdf with tables using fpdf def table you will create a table function here and then call out method self okay and then this we will create a function inside this okay so now what we have to do is self dot set font we have to set the font for this set underscore font as per our previous videos we will just go normally with this we will set the font as arial and then we will set the style as bold because this is the table the style as bold and then we have to set the size as uh, 16 that's enough or I will be using 12 then what we have to do is we have to create cells self dot cell and then we have to define the height and width of these cells I will be using okay I will be using 40 and then 10 and then we have to define the uh, text here inside this which will be ID and then border You have to give the border as 1. Now we have to choose the alignment for this. I will be giving as alignment at center. Center. I will be following the same thing for uh, you can see numeric data types. That means uh, see if this is the ID, then I will also follow the same for age or anything else or salary you can see but firstly I want name that's why I will remove this and this field will be name aligned at center now what we have to do is I will take as age or salary salary and then 
again go with this okay and then this will be you can say city so we are almost all done we have to set the line chain now self dot ln this will move to next row okay so we are done almost now we have to set the uh, you can say data which will be fitted inside this data equals we will be passing some uh, values inside this for that we will be using uh, square brackets firstly and then we will send the data like this see if I want ID then ID will be one and his name will be you can say John and then uh, its salary will be 35,000 and uh, uh, his city will be you can say Delhi and then what we have to do is we have uh, if we want to send another data we can go like this to will be the ID and his name will be uh, you can say Alice and then his salary her salary will be 40,000 and city will be Mumbai so guys that's it uh, now what we have to do is we have to send this data for row in data for column in row And then what we will do is self dot cell self dot cell this will fill your data inside uh, you can see rows and then you have to define the height and width and string values of sorry string values of column And then we have to set the border for this. B O R D E R equals one. And then the alignment of this. Align equals. I will be aligning it at center. Okay, we are all done. Now what we have to do is just call this. PDF equal to we need to use this class okay PDF and then PDF dot add page PDF dot table and then we just have to output this we will name it as my pdf dot pdf so okay we are all done now let's run this program python test.py I think it is done yeah you can see this since I have set uh, different values for this that's why it is showing like this now let me uh, fix this and run this again okay let me check one thing okay so guys let's try debugging this okay I will check that uh, since we are getting two as the final 
uh, this value that means our this row is getting executed but only till this value so we have to check that uh, either other values are getting executed or not for that uh, we will pass a print statement here print and then data entered this will check on each iteration that our data is in entered or not okay and then run python file okay you can see that number you can see the number of iterations this is eight eight iterations that means there is a chance that our get all the data is getting entered we can do one more thing data entered and we can also check for the data which is entered comma and then search for column that means which value is getting entered now let's see when we run this okay you can see this that uh, first data is this and then this is the second data that means our all the data is getting entered okay i got the issue guys this is the uh, error of line change since after this our line is not getting changed this is the error what we have to do is we have to uh, we have to change the line after execution of this first loop okay and then we will change the line and then save this program and rerun our file python test.py and check now okay so guys you can see this our table is successfully created and you can uh, if you want to add some more colors to this you can also do that okay we can uh, do one thing like set uh, this color to blue for that what we have to do is we just simply have to go here and then here we will define the color as pdf dot set color set text color pdf dot set text color okay and then we have to pass the rgb values here i will be using blue that's why 0 comma 0 comma 255 that is full blue okay now let's run this again you can see this our uh, our data is blue in color now if you want to change the color of this heading file headings then you can also do that you can just go here and then simply type again pdf dot set text color set text color and then uh, what we have to do is you uh, you have to pass the values rgb values again here uh, we will go with uh, you can say purple let's check the rgb code for purple rgb code for purple color it is 128 comma 0 comma 128 okay and then we will pass this value here comma 128 just set this and then again run your program now let's check so yeah this is getting executed we will uh, turn it again to black if you want to set the you can say font style you can also do that You can just copy this and paste it here. Okay, and then paste it here and I will set it to italic. Just go this, uh, just save this and again run your program python test.py. Now let's check. You can see that this is now italic in, uh, this is now italic in style. So yeah guys that's all for this video, now let's see you next time.